Hey everybody, McKnight here, and welcome back to another Mars Rise base building episode. And in this episode, we're looking at ESA. Let's go. Just before we get into the video, don't forget to like it. It helps massively. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And if you want to see more shenanigans live, there'll be a link to my Twitch in the description. Let's have a look at the base. So here we are with the ESA's base. Now, I thought this would be pretty straightforward with uh, only being a, a smallish lake. And then um, this big rock here, but it wasn't that easy. I had to rejig this quite a few times because I struggled a bit. I struggled trying to get everything to um, reduce the, the build time like in the previous videos. So <laughs> I, I, I tried so many different configurations and this is kind of what I thought was, is this the best? That's arguable, but... I, got as, I tried to get as much um, build time reduction as possible. So up in this sort of this area down here is all the um, build reductions. And then across here we've got um, request mission rewards because ESA do better with um, joint missions. And their, their kind of thing is joint missions. So I tried to see if I could get anything of that. So... We got uh, the Deep Space Network here with uh, joint missions, which is 5%, which is a good boost. And there's 3% reputation, so that, that'll help us get more joint missions. Um, and then I looked at support. And then tried to get as, as many um, build reductions as well, as well as um, cost reductions. So the key area for this base is here. So we've got the Vehicle Assembly Building the spacecraft assembly building, the contractor's office, and the hangar. And then we've got the medium launch pad and the large launch pad all connected for that build reduction. There are quite a few little gaps, which if you wanted to, you could put some other things in. Maybe not these long ones, but let me know in the comments if you found a better, better way of positioning things. Because uh, I'd like to hear what you say, because... This one was really tricky. Um, we just put a diplomacy. I put the diplomacy there just because I couldn't fit it anywhere else. But down here, we've got the visitor center and then the mission control. So it kind of helps in with the uh, joint mission rewards. So that was... It kind, of, it kind of worked out well. I'd like to have got the space plane runway with the aeronautic center for a 5% build time reduction. But unfortunately... I couldn't quite get it. I did try and position it in here. But um, then building around it was struggling and we were losing little, little adjacency bonuses here and there. But um, anyway, looking at the actual rocket building itself, we have a vehicle here to build. So from the buildings, we have a 30% build reduction, which isn't as good as it was with um, Roscosmos and NASA. But... It was uh, the best I could eke out. We also got quite a bit of payload reduction costs, which was 32%, which can be handy. So just so you guys know, we'll just go over the, um, each of the buildings and in what order they're stacked, just so you know. And if you want to try it out for yourself, you can do. So we've got the space plane runway, diplomacy office, small launch pad, mobile launch platform, Backup power generator, rocket test pad, visitor center, mission control, mission control expansion, HQ, research lab, robotics research lab, aeronautics research lab, vehicle assembly building, spacecraft assembly facility. Then up the top here, we've got contractor's office. Vehicle hangar, medium launch pad, docking training facility, space science library, PR office, astronauts training facility, conference center, deep space network, neutral buoyancy lab, hall of fame, large launch pad, and the water sound suppression. So I hope that helps if you are playing the game through as ESA. 
Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything you would change or if you've got a slightly different setup or whether you focused on more diplomacy than anything else. It'd be interesting to hear. There we have it. That's the ESA base. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to like it. It helps the channel more than you possibly know. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And there'll be a link in the description to my Twitch if you want to see more shenanigans live. And have a good rest of your day.